guys and welcome back to another video thank you so much for clicking on this video well by the title of the video you would have guessed it fail or pass don't forget to like share comment and subscribe So let's get into it guys yes gonna take off this bonnet and start as we speak so i had my hair under the bonnet so it's not dry it's kind of really moisturized but not wet moisturized if you see a hint of purple in my hair i've been experimenting with this new product so i'm just gonna go in and i'm going to section my hair after sectioning my hair, well, the reason why I section my hair is because it's easier to handle that way. And then if I don't get to finish in time, I'll have the back out and the front in a cute little bun. So, gonna go in with water. Just to make it easier for the curls to form and activate. Like, detangling is the worst and i haven't detangled it in like a week so it's really rough out here yeah really rough out here so i'm all done with the detangling so i'm just just gonna go in and i'm going to where's my stuff seem to be misplacing my stuff so here we go i'm grabbing one side of it into a bun because i don't want to get the sides mixed up and my hair is very thick guys so I'm trying to get this out of the way so I can start finger curling then first section okay so finger curling is actually one of my favorite hairstyles the last time I did finger curling I was like six months after my big chop so my hair was much shorter and easier to handle as well so yeah that's about it well, I'm going to add water to the front section. That feels really good, by the way, yes. And after I do that, I'm just going to get in and start with things. So let's go to that part. All right, so this is section one. And I uh, already detangled as you guys saw, so I'm just going to start a sap. But I'm gonna be showing you what I'm going to be using to do each section to get my coils looking real nice all right so the first up is flaxseed gel by kim authentic by kim um yeah so you can definitely check that out sorry about that i was trying to show you guys but <laughs> yeah i'm gonna try to do better shots next time and the next one is Hiko Styler. Um, this is my favorite one, the olive oil one. My hair loves olive oil, so I definitely try to use that a lot. And the next one is Cantu. I know a lot of you guys don't like Cantu, but this shea leave-in condition, shea butter leave-in condition works for me. So let's go. <laughs> So I always start to try to detangle the back because I don't want it to be lumpy and I want to ensure that um, I do the back smaller as well because the back is easier to get untangled, I mean un unraveled, sorry. And so doing the back a little bit smaller than I would normally do the front is actually what I do. All right, so I'm going to be taking smaller strands of my hair and showing you how to kind of make the coils but the back is harder for you guys to see so i might go back and forth between showing you how that's hair loss by the way yeah i lost a lot of my hair because i wasn't combing out um this particular time but 
I go in with that much moisturizer, Cantu Shea Butter, and then after that, I will pull strands together and create the coil. So, wait a minute, I'm gonna show you. So I'm going to take a little bit of my hair from the back. And uh, so that's how much I take. You see that strand? Those groups. And then I just glide the flaxseed gel across right down to the, from the root to the um, ends. And then I curl, wrap it around my finger, wrap it around my finger, wrap it around my finger continuously. I The close-up is not very good, but... I wrap it around my finger, start from the root, go right down to the end, and ensure that it's round very tight. All right, so that was a good one. Let me show you up close what it looks like. All right, so that's what the coil looks like. So that's the first finger coil. See that? Very nice, nice. <laughs> so we're gonna do all of my hair that way. So it's gonna take some time based on how long it normally takes I normally time myself to four hours so let's do the next strand let's see if you can see a better view from this side so I wrap it around my finger and I keep rolling it so I hold it's very good to hold the ends right at the end right there so that you keep it wound tight so after I hold right there I just keep going around twisting it around in the anti-clockwise anti-clockwise direction around and around around and around until I make a coil and you can choose what, whichever direction you want to go in based on in the hand that you're using I'm just gonna show you the back so I'm going to allow you to see the slower version of how I do all of the back so you can definitely try this on your own it's inexpensive not so expensive as going to the hairdresser. Sometimes you have to try and do your hair on your own. And finger coiling is one of the easiest. It's time consuming. So it takes about like four hours. But it's worth it. So it's time consuming, but it's worth it. Okay, so the back is completely finished. The coils are looking really nice and pretty. The first row is done. Yes, it's looking nice and pretty. I like me likey, me likey, me likey. All right, I'm just going to show you. Um, don't want to make this video very long, so I'm going to show you how my hair looks. All of that section when it's finished. One section down guys look at that look at that look nice one section is down so I'm just gonna run through all of the sections now so that you guys can see yeah, look at that look nice one section is down so I'm just gonna run through all of the sections now so that you guys can see yeah. 
I've noticed something about my hair. The front sections are a little bit different. The curl pattern is different. Um, I'm not sure if the porosity is maybe higher because the back of my hair has low porosity. And so, yeah. But maybe the porosity of my hair is changing. Definitely need to do a porosity test on porosity test sorry on the front section of my hair versus the back section of my hair all right so let's go into it so i'm just gonna continue making the coils you know the drill wrap it around from the root to the end and you have a nice little coil going there if you look closely the coils at the front are kind of looser than the coils at the back and as i said that might be due to changes up in the porosity of my hair all right, let me just show you the finished product. Finally, it's all done, guys. Yes, yes, yes. So check out the curls. It's a little bit looser in the front, as I said. I styled my hair with two colored hairpins, but I'm so happy that I finished it. Let me know if you think it's a pass or a fail, and tell me how it goes when you try it. So you need your gel, you need your water, you need your um, cream or moisturizer, and you're good to go. Yep, that's it. Look at that hair. Look at, look, get into Chrissy, guys. Get into Chrissy. She is looking beautiful today. Very excited. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but love it. So tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you think about this hairstyle? Do you think that this finger coil actually worked? Did it not work? Did it pass? Did it fail? Are you going to try this? Definitely try it. I think you should try it. I'm going to be rocking this hairstyle for like a week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what kind of hair videos you want to see next. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.